quick audio check, quick check. Good morning, good afternoon, hope everyone's doing well today. Got a jacket on because it is really cold today. I mean, not as cold as yesterday, but like the format of our house, like my room is the furthest from our wood stove, so like whenever I close the door, it's so fucking cold. I see how long this stays on, because like with the lights on, it gets pretty warm. So, yeah. Um... Going back into our Cardu Valley save, so yesterday we finished off week one of winter. We got some crops planted, but since we didn't have a lot of the winter forage items, we didn't get many. So like I said before, we're going to be focusing mainly on mining so we can grind up some coal. Hello! Hi, Allie. Can I call you Allie if that's okay? <laughs> I appreciate you coming in. And chatting. Hope you're doing well today. Alex, good? Okay, cool. Like, let me just choose the name for you. But we're in winter, so just a lot of grinding. I know people, like, say this is the most boring season, but, like, I kind of like how you can just focus on. Because, like, when you're doing, like, crops and stuff, it seems like there's all much too much you have to do in the season. But winter, you're just, like, focusing on getting materials, getting money. <coughs> I think I want to upgrade the barn first, that way I can actually start um, harvesting the cows. Harvesting? I, I couldn't think of a better word to say. Asia has been winter year one, reorganizing my farm for the following spring. Oh yeah, for sure. Like, my goal is to try and get, like, hella beehives. Have those ready and set up. I want to get my, get hella preserved jars for my shed. Get those all situated. It's just, I wish it was easier to get coal. Like, I found the best way was you just break all your geodes, because you usually get a lot of resources from that, or... I know they have, like, the coal machine, whatever it's called. But it's like, I don't want to waste wood, because it's so much more difficult to get wood in later years. So let's see what our weekly mission is. I know we already did the skeleton mission, so I guess we can try. Oh, we have two weeks to do two dozen eggs. Okay, I can for sure do that. There's a monster in the mines that drops coal quite often, but if I recall, you don't like the mines. Mines are alright. They're alright. It's just like, I'm not good at combat, so like, <laughs> I think... Uh, I, don't, I don't know which monster it is, but like... I would go for it, but like, 
The monsters that do spawn coal don't spawn enough coal. What level have I gotten down to? Yesterday I got to the final one. So, that's cool. I low-key, I was so like disappointed when I reached the bottom in my initial playthrough. Because I was like, oh, so like something big is gonna happen, but like nothing happened. I was sad. Like I thought there'd be like a cutscene or something, or like a monster there. But it's just like snake statues and then a chest. Sad. So the soot sprites are in like four to seven. Okay. Oh, is that the ones that come out of the ground? I think I'll go for that then. I also need to get more gold too, so I should be going in the later mines. Little bouncy black. Oh, pomp. Oh, those guys. Okay. I, I thought it was the little guys that come out of like the goop. So go for that. Thank you for that tip. I really appreciate it, Ali. We got one coal so far. Let's go. Oh, there's lots of them here. We got one from him. Oh, dude. Oh, that was pro tip. I never would have <laughs> knew. Okay. So we're staying here then. Crystal fruit is also a good for food source, and they drop those too. Okay, let's see. Oh yeah, sixty-three energy. That's a lot for a forge item. Cause like I know some things, but like I don't know like the ins and outs of the game. So I appreciate like any hints you give me. You give me my personal Wikipedia. Good, I'm here to support with information. Don't want to spoil anything. Oh yeah, for sure. Low key, I I think it's funny. Oh no, not not that it's funny. Like I don't mind like spoilers and shit. Like whenever I like I hear about a TV show or a movie, because like in my head, there's only so many like things that can happen in a show. They're like, oh, so and so dies, and I was like, well, that that could have happened. Like I totally foresaw that happening. I know some people are like real sticklers about spoilers, but I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> it's just like, with Backseat Gaming, I don't mind it. It's just like, it depends on the game, I guess. Like for story stuff like this where there's puzzles, like I don't mind it because like, maybe I'm stuck on a puzzle for too long. But like, let's say if you're playing a shooter and someone's like, oh, they're behind the corner. It's like, well, it'll let me find that out for myself, you know? I love spoilers for movies and such. Because <laughs> I prefer anticipation over surprise. I like seeing how things all fold. Okay. That's a that's a more eloquent way of putting it. That's a good take. I really like that. I'll have to steal that. That's a really good way to explain it. I think it's also like kinda attributed to how like I like rewatching shows like once a year or every two years or like rereading like a book or a manga every once in a while mainly because like i know it's gonna happen and it's like it's comforting you know it's also kind of like how you rewatch holiday films every year like it's almost tradition i guess 
What manga do you recommend? I personally really like shoujo. I like romance because it's really cringe, but it's so cute. I think a really good one to start off with if you're new to shoujo is Fruits Basket. Um, All-time favorite. They recently, in the past few years, did a remake of the anime. That's a really good one. So if you have Funimation, definitely watch it. Um, I, I don't really know like um, mainstream stuff. I don't have any too niche like animes or mangas that I watch. Mangas, <laughs> manga that I watch. Um, Boku no Hero is a good shonen. I know everyone loves it though. I want to reread um, Attack on Titan because the third season is coming. Um. I'm down for a good romance. <laughs> You've tried Fruit Basket already? And it was okay. I was. I like intense. Oh, so you like. Probably Shonen is probably your genre. I had a reading a lot of manhwa. Oh, yeah. I've been really into like web comics recently, like webtoons and stuff. I think it's interesting how it's kind of normal to like anime now when it was more of like a niche thing like five years ago. I have webtoons and I also have manta. Nice, nice. Like when it, with the webtoons thing, like I used to read like releases every week, but now like I just won't open the app for a month and then just catch up on all the stories once a month. Because like I hate... Because so many of them end with cliffhangers and it's so annoying. I mean, it's, it's to bait you, it's to get you to keep reading. Like, I understand that aspect, but it's like, when there's a cliffhanger every week, it's like, come on. It's like, this is not a soap proper. This is not what I signed up for. <laughs> When I was in middle school, the only Easter manga or anime that was popular was Naruto. Ooh, oh no. Inuyasha, DBZ, Sailor Moon. Yeah. I mean, I'm kind of indifferent. Like, I'm I'm very picky with what I spend my time with because, like, I understand that, like, my time is valuable. You know what I mean? So, like, I hot take. I don't like a lot of, like, older manga or anime. Mainly because, like, I understand there's limitations to the software. In terms of like how much rendering they could do and like also like art styles what you can do for like basic animation but like it just looks ugly a lot of the art styles i don't like um of those four that you mentioned i only watched Sailor moon like we had a couple v i think we still have a few of like the vhs tapes but um like dragon ball z like it just doesn't look nice yeah, true dramatized and stuff, yeah, it's like, I think it's, because like, obviously a lot of those shows were geared towards children, but like, I can understand, because I didn't watch them growing up, so like, I don't have that nostalgia factor. And like, I also don't like the aesthetic of like, the super big eyes. I never really liked that look. I don't know, I'm really critical. <laughs> Loki. Even a lot of new webtoons and such have are too exaggerated with other art styles. I can't get past it. It's distracting a little bit because I think there needs to be a balance between. I I really like illustrations or like comics that have like the semi-realism style. But when um when they become like you said too exaggerated, it's too distracting. Like. Yes, it's artsy. Yes, it's like more original, but it's almost a bit too much. Okay, it's nine o'clock. We should probably be heading out now. Also, when I read um, comics and stuff, I like to think about 
how they made the drawings or how they made the renders. Like, I really appreciate um, black and white manga. Mainly because, like, you can tell... Like, a lot of it is done digitally, digitally, but some styles you can still see are done by hand, ink and pen. And it's just so cool to imagine or, like, think of, like, how did they get that stroke or, like, how did they get that line? Cause, like, I know as an artsy or, like, a maker type person, you're always thinking about how you can emulate that same style. Or like how they made the render. The shed's almost done. Shed should be done by tomorrow. Let's see what we got. Ooh, got everything ready. Nice. Like Snake and Eagle and Webtoons, if it's the style, same with Lore, Lore Olympus. Both are vastly different. I started reading Lore Olympus. <clears throat> I really appreciate how, like, the style for that one is very illustrative. But I think with, like, semi-realism, you can kind of, like, insert yourself... Or there's a sense of like, since they do look more realistic, I can relate to them more. I think that's why I have that kind of disconnect with like hyper stylistic comics. I think that's the reason why, honestly. I'm gonna make a few more hives while I'm here. There up in the wood. There we go. There we go. I can see that that's fair. Yeah, I think that is like the best way for me to like convey how I feel about it. The less realistic the story, the more st stylistic I like it. I suppose. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Like that type of art direction. That does make a lot of sense. Okay, so our weekly mission was just harvesting eggs. So just business as normal. I can't remember how much it was to upgrade the bar. I know it was at least 20k. Okay, so we can start moving our preserve jars into the shed now. Just to make the jars... Or preserve bins, whatever. Or oh, they are called jars, huh? It's woodstone coal. They don't have any coal to make more. I've seen people with their sheds. It's like, look how big it is, right? I've seen them only put like 10 like jars in it. And it's like, dude, I cram as much as I can in there. It's Tuesday, so she's not going to be in the shop. We can probably get enough money. Oh, I'm not making money right now, though. I'm mining. We can probably have enough funds by Thursday to upgrade the barn. So check out this guy if you can. His farm is absolutely nuts when it comes to machines, kegs. Okay. I'll have to look at that later. I 
I think it's cool to see like different farms where like they either go like full like aesthetic or full into like different buildings and kegs and stuff. It's cool to see people play the game in different ways. Like I know like all the saves that I have are just casual, like nothing too insane. I kind of want to have a save where it's just pawns. Cause like I really like the fishing mechanic in the game, like it's just fun in general. When it comes time to harvest and refill his kegs, it takes him like two days. Oh no. See like... I like the... Uh, I don't know. I think mechanic-wise, fishing would be the most fun to do. I know, like, harvesting, like, the animals and stuff, like, petting them, I think that is really fun to do as well. I also want to have a farm where it's just, like, all fields. Like, nothing else, just fields. They kind of theme it like a pumpkin patch, kind of, for an attraction when it comes to decorating. Also, um, you weren't here yesterday, Ali, but I launched a separate account on YouTube and TikTok to feature clips of my stream. So if you do um, exclamation clips in chat, it'll give you links and the users for those accounts. Because, like, I'm trying to, like, just learn how to do basic edits in terms of, like, cuts, zooms, that type of thing. So, oh, thank you for doing it. <laughs> because, like, I'm trying to do, like, just practice doing calls to actions more. Um, so like me and my sister this past weekend, we spent like a few hours just like learning basic edits and we were just like laughing our asses off at like the different like zooms we did. So if you could check it out, I'd appreciate it. You don't have to like follow or anything unless you want to, but like it's just for funsies and also to help hopefully bring more crossover from other platforms to the stream. Cause like, I know there's like... There's a lot of Twitch people on TikTok and stuff. So hopefully I can tap into that a little bit. Because I was talking to another chatter yesterday on stream. And I was like, you know, I just, I don't want anything insane. Like, I don't want to pop off. Like, I don't want to be like... I don't want to have like a big audience, but like, I'd like to have like 10 people. That'd be cool, you know? Because, like, just being on Twitch in general the past year has helped me so much in terms of, like... Oh, don't you oh, thank you! I appreciate it! I appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, anyway, just being on Twitch in general has helped so much. It's because, like, the best analogy like, I found for it is, like... Because I will have, like, streams on in the background, like, throughout my day. Just for, like, white noise, right? But, like, it feels like... Almost like you're hanging out with someone for a couple hours. And it's really nice. Because, like, it's totally different from, like, YouTube content because that's fully edited down, right? It's less personable in most instances. <clears throat> I know it's cliche for everyone to be like, I just want a community! But low-key, that's all I want. Yeah, I like talking to others well. Yeah, same, same. I think we talked about this last time you we were in chat, Ali, but like, I just like going into random streams and chatting. Mainly because like, I low-key love attention. I don't need attention, but I love it, you know. Especially in smaller streams, like, they will fully acknowledge every message you say. I wish I could sing on stream though, it's not- I mean, it is technically fine to do, but like, I don't want to get clapped. Because when I was initially thinking of things to do for stream, 
I was like, oh, I can do this, this, and this, but then it's like, you also have to think about DMC and stuff, or like copyright restrictions. So that was like half of my ideas, <laughs> just in the trash. Because like the main premise I have for now is having props for runs, like the Odyssey jar. Like that's our main prop back here, my right. Um, just a little over halfway with that completionist run, so we're getting there. You know, only a day and a half into the run, but you know, we're getting there. I think, like, another thing I'm concerned about is I don't want to be seem like I'm copying something. Because similar to art, a lot of things are transformative. So it seems like everyone's doing the same thing as each other. But what makes it, I guess, yours or original is like your personality or your commentary, right? Because like I've thought about like doing tier list videos because like I think it's fun. I love that type of content, like just chatting shit. But like with a lot of those like segments, you have to pre-plan your bits. Which is doable because a lot of them aren't necessarily focus too much on like improv and commentary. But I keep telling myself like, oh once I hit affiliate I'll put more time into stuff. But then I'm like, I should also just make stuff. That's that's like the main reason why I started the separate account for like edited clips. That way I like, I can invest more time into like fine-tuning that skill. Cause I thought I would honestly hate editing, cause like it's very tedious work, right? But like timing the first perfect cut or like planning a bit or like making a bit from a clip was so fun. It is getting a bit warm with this coat on. Because I'm usually not a coat person. I love this one though. It was fucking like $60. On sale, $60 still. But I told myself like, I need to get at least one Levi's jacket. Looking back, I should have gotten the denim one. Because it's a lot harder to match this tan one with stuff. But you know, it's still cute. I bought it a size smaller, so that way the button would be- their unbuttoned look is intentional. Not because I gained weight, it's not that. It's hard to like find stuff that fits me well because like, I'm overweight which is fine, like I need to work on it a bit. But I'm also like 5'2", so it's hard to find stuff that's like, not too long on me I guess. Like, I haven't bought clothes since um, the restrictions here because of the pandemic because like a lot of changing rooms are closed, which makes sense, like I get it, but it's like, because like every paycheck when I was working, like I'd go out to like the mall and like buy clothes because like it's just fun. Like I know it, I know this will feed to addiction, but like I just like buying things mainly because like I didn't have a lot of money growing up. So just like being able to buy stuff for myself was really like, I guess rewarding. Like, now, like, restrictions aren't as bad. I mean, I'm vaxxed. Yay, I'm vaxxed. I'm getting my booster this weekend. Um, like, I want to go shopping again. Because <laughs> there's a couple of consignment shops in our downtown area that I haven't gone to that I really want to stop by again.
I'm literally, we're typing up consignments for our auction department. <laughs> Watching Twitch on the company time, I see. <laughs> I won't snitch, you're fine. <laughs> so, like, what do you do then? If you're doing auction work, is that for, like... Uh, like, a donation service? Or, like, it's a regular, a regular like, shop? <clears throat> I don't know why my voice is so like raspy today. It's just because like this morning when I went bike riding, it wasn't raining, but then near the end it started pouring, so I got drenched. And like I was annoyed because like I have a waterproof jacket, but apparently the pockets aren't waterproof. So like I got home and like the rest of my body was dry, but my phone was drenched. And I was like, this is bullshit. <clears throat> I work for a small family owned um no numismatic store. I'm technically a product photographer, but I help with jewelry appraisal and typing auction stuff while they hire a third person. The study and collection of coins and paper money. Okay, cool. Thank you. Thank you for telling me. <laughs> I had no idea what your what it was. Thank you, man. Um that's cool though. We love local, we love family owned businesses. Let's go. We love that for us. Oh, that's the. I'm gonna see if I can sell some gems. As I said before, I like to have at least three of each in my inventory, just in case like the pawns need them. Numismatics. Okay, got it. <laughs> Numismatics. M Numis. <laughs> I'm gonna have a hard time saying it, man. Numismatics. Okay, I think I got it. Mm -hmm. Now we're going through a lot of our crops. like to have my own like product not necessarily like a business but like a product to launch at some point because like i just like the idea of having something like tangible that i can say that like i made this you know what i mean so that's the goal in five years you should only keep these gems because these are the six basics and can make decent gifts others are only for donation or tailoring Oh, you can use gems for tailoring? I've never used the tailoring mechanic. Shades are also helpful for trading later on. Okay. You say that, but I'm still going to keep them all because I'm a hoarder. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you. For gifts, I usually will do, like, preserves or, like, gems. Where'd my feed go? Okay, it's there. I was like, oh, did I sell it by accident? Again, there's no wrong way to play this game. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, don't get mad at me. <laughs> Loki, I'm a hoarder IRL, so, you know, I got a hoarding game, too. <clears throat> okay. I think we have enough. It's an investment. Yes, that that's what we're going to call it. All those newspapers and soda cans, they're an investment, I promise you. Okay, I, I think we have enough to upgrade our barn now. Let's see, it's Wednesday, she should be there. I'm actually going to grab that basket for Linus because I keep passing it. Hey! Hi, Pokai! Doing good, doing good. Hope you're doing well, man. It is a bit cold out today, so I have a jacket on. But it is getting warm now, so I'm probably gonna take it off soon. 
But you know, it's cute, so I'll keep it on. <sighs> nice. We wasted an hour getting that basket for Linus. But we love him, so you know. That looks really nice. Thank you. It was on sale for $60. Still expensive, but I still got it. <laughs> Low-key a bit small so the, so the buttons don't close, but you know, it's still cute. <laughs> I used to be so against layers, just style-wise. Up until, like, my second to last year of high school. Because, like, my friend was like, Layers will make you look less fat, and I was like, Oh, you right. <laughs> so... Whenever I can wear layers, I can't. Or whenever I can wear layers, I will. Oh, I thought I got money for that mission. Sad. Sad day. <clears throat> Oh, it's only 12k? I thought it was more. Rip. Came to stop by and say hi and do wish you well. Hope you have a good stream. Thank you. Appreciate you coming in as always, you know. It's nice to know that, like, people are still around. Because I know, like, the majority of the people that come in are chatters, but I know there's a few lurkers that come in, so just saying hi is nice, you know? So we got our barn done. It'll be done in a few days. So we'll be for sure we'll have enough money to upgrade the coop as well. Yeah, because once we got the... I should probably get some trees started. I really should. But I believe I have just enough fruit for the comm center, so I should be fine. Because, like, to me, trees aren't really that important. Like, I'd rather spend money at upgrading the buildings first. Because, like, I didn't realize you can't move the trees once you plant them. Because in my first save... I planted like 10 of them. I was like, oh, I'll get my tree started. And then when I started rearranging my farm, I had to destroy them because I didn't want them in that spot anymore. And I was so sad. I was like, oh, 30k down the drain. It's a shame. It's not fair. It's unfair. So, like, question. Since you're watching while you're at work, do you just have it in, like, a new tab? Or, like, on your phone or something? Because I know when I would, like, when I'd use it at work, like, I'd just have it, like, on my phone and, like, earbuds and stuff. Oh, you got double monitors? Dude. Got the hookup. <laughs> I don't plant food trees until I get the greenhouse. I've seen some videos of people putting trees in the greenhouse. Which is kind of cool. I have XL open on one and you on the other. Cool. Ooh. Nice. Like, I, I don't have a PC. Like, I just stream from my laptop. So right now, I just have, like, five windows open. <laughs> I have extra tabs over you just in case I need to anything up. Look anything up. Lol. <laughs> or, like, someone walks by you <laughs> and you're like, I'm not messing around. Yeah, when I was at my previous workplace, they, we could like listen to music and stuff, so like they didn't care if you had earbuds in or anything. So 
So since you worked for a family business, how long did you work there? Like, did you have a job with a different company before, or have you always worked with the family business? Because my dad, he has a... He fixes office equipment and ships, like, office equipment, so, like, printers, paper, toner, that type of thing. And, like, I don't want to do that. So he was like, oh, you could just get your own job, do whatever. And I was like, cool. Because he mans the business by himself. He doesn't have any employees. Mainly because, like, it's not a lot of work where he needs a second person. But <laughs> I've been here three years and not related to the owner or anything. Oh, okay. I thought you were, like, <laughs> the owner's <laughs> kid or something. Never mind. <laughs> There's a total of about 30 employees and about half aren't related. Wow. Damn, it's a pretty big setup. Man, if you need 30 people, that's quite an operation. Because when I picture, like, those type of shots, or shops, not shots, <laughs> I just picture, like, a guy at a counter. <laughs> now, Frick. Slimes are my least favorite enemy. It's mainly because, like, I'm so used to just, like, spamming. But I forget there's like a certain time to where like the animation of like swinging the sword is. Oh, frick. I'm so bad at combat in the desert mines. Like, I'm horrid. The mission where you gotta get to like level 100, I think it is for that one story mission. I <laughs> I crafted a hundred staircases and just like used basically all of them to get to the bottom. I know that was technically the bad ending, but still I got it. It took fucking forever to craft all that stone though, or to gather the stone to craft it. Insane. We can talk to Gil. He can give us a shitty reward. I know you can technically play DMC music. I know recently uh, there's like certain settings to where you can like exclude certain audio sources from the VODs. But then it's also like, ah, uh, feels bad. And then like I'll go into like some smaller people's streams and they'll be playing DMC stuff and like I'll be in chat like DMCA. And they're like, I don't care if I get banned. Or like, I don't care if it gets deleted. I'm like, dude. Like, if you're working for like a publication company and you like use something that you didn't have the rights to, you would get fired. Like, that's like a serious thing that you cannot do. We have two star from people, two coin graders, four in order fulfillment shipping, three people that work at Royal Canyon Mint Products, two people in auction, two photographers, two owners, one admin, and that's the regular staff. It. Well, it's good that you guys have, like, that much demand to justify having that many people on staff. Like, that's great. Like, I understand that restrictions heavily affected a lot of local business. So it's nice that you guys are at um, that level of operation where you need that many people. That's amazing. Because when I was working of a few months ago like I was working in food service and there were days when it only have like literally 10 people come in it, like it was bad I mean not that I really cared because like it's not my business <laughs> but like it was just boring I 
mean, we did a lot of cleaning, so that was cool. Like, our store was, like, spotless. Well, the time we had deep cleaning. Um, bunch of part-timers of the kids, the staff who help when needed. The owner's mom comes in to help sometimes account and wants- Okay. We love child labor. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. What's well, 840? We gotta start heading out. <laughs> I don't understand how, like, it's like kind of normalized to have a side hustle now. Where it's like, oh, you have your full time job, two kids, but you also need to, like, sell stuff for me. Because you need extra money. Everyone needs a side hustle now. Because when I was working, I was still enrolled in school for college, right? So, like, I had to dedicate, like, 10 to 20 hours of school a week. And then also, like, the full-time job. And it's, to me, it's disgusting how it's normalized where you expect people to work that hard. And, like, be able to, like, function daily. Like, it's crazy to me. Cause like, I know I should be working right now, but... Now that I'm not working, like, my schoolwork has definitely improved. Cause I was at the point a few months ago where like, if I failed another class, like, I'd have to drop. And that's not cool. So... <laughs> Sorry, boss was near Lamau. Yeah, <laughs> X out the dab. <laughs> it's like, I wasn't slacking off. <laughs> I was not typing in Twitch chat. Like, I deleted my history. <laughs> That's great. Oh, like, fuck, it's 10 o'clock. I gotta get out of here. I forgot. Um, but yeah, mental health is handled poorly here, too. Yeah. Are you, like, in the States? I'm in, I'm in the U.S. West Coast. Represent. <laughs> fuck, it was in some countries. Either Spain or Portugal. Um... But they were like, if your boss texts you after work hours, he can be f <laughs> The memes were like, he can be killed. It's like, no, he could just be like, fine and shit. <laughs> Canada? Okay, Canada. Yeah, Canada seems pretty pog. <laughs> I know it was a meme a few years ago to like, move to Canada. I have a lot, not a lot, but like, a few Canadian people who pop in. It'd be like a time zone thing. <clears throat> but this business is pretty good about it. My supervisor took months off due to burnout and stress. Oh, yeah, that's nice. We need, we love a mental health break. Man, I got lots of notes. Okay, look through those. Like, I remember this year when I was working, I had to work on my birthday, and it sucked. Like, I worked a 13 hour shift that day. And it sucked. Because, like, I was promised that I wouldn't have to work my birthday, but, like, I told my my boss, I was like, you know, I can still work, like, if you need me to. Like, I don't care. Like, I would like to have it off, but, you know, it's fine. And she's like, yeah, I'll do everything in my power to, like, not make you come in. But then I still had to go in and do a 13-hour, which sucked ass. So. <clears throat> Like, I told myself if I'm ever gonna, like, work again under someone else, like, I need to, like, stand up for myself more, or, like, understand my worth in terms of, like, my worth ethic. That's why, like, I'm really hesitant to go back into, like, an entry-level job. <laughs> I remember how all those Trumpsters <laughs> were like, we'll move to Canada if he doesn't get re-elected. And everyone laughed because Canada's Canada's pretty socialist. I know, right? <clears throat> like Americans are so fucked up, man. <laughs> All the Republicans are like, I don't want free healthcare. I want to die if I get sick. <laughs> Squid and Lincoln. Okay, I got those already. I've only 
only caught one rare fish, mainly because I suck. Like, how are you supposed to catch the rare fish? Because, like... Oh, I need feed. They're so difficult to catch. I know! I got cancer! Here's my GoFundMe! <laughs> oh my god, I, I fucking love those. And it's like, dude, if we if we had public health care or affordable health care, you wouldn't need to have a GoFundMe. There's, I'm I'm low key like a political anti. Like I I'm low key like a debate lord at times. And it's just like a lot of like Americans' problems could be solved through more socialist policies, like homelessness could be diminished. <clears throat> um. BBI would be amazing for low-income families. Um, like free school lunches. That'd be cool. I get in trouble when talking about politics online. Oof. I think the reason why people don't want to talk about politics. I was having this... I was talking to my friend about it because... Um... I'm like far left and he's... Or there, um center right and there, there's like some stuff we agree on right and then some stuff we don't agree on and we were at the point where like <laughs> we were arguing right and I was like and he, they were he was like you know how about we just don't talk about this stuff anymore and I was like well you know I don't like talking about politics and stuff online because it's so easy to like construe arguments there's already so many people who are so biased in their own ideas where they don't want to hear other opinions um but I was like, you know, I don't mind talking about this kind of stuff with, like, my family or friends because politics in general is so heavily associated with, like, personal morality and, like, your own ideology. And a lot of your opinions... Uh, <clears throat> uh, what was it? A lot of your opinions will, like, show your true self. Because a lot of policies, even though it says it's going to do this, it actually results in this happening. Uh, for example, um, like how some states in the United States are trying to enforce greater restrictions or requirements for voting. Like some policies were like, you have to vote in person the day of election day, which is fucking insane. Because it's only going to restrict people like the working class woods, that's what it's going to result in. So that's a prime example of a policy saying it's going to do one thing, but it's actually going to restrict and result in this negative effect. Anyway, what was I going to say? I forgot where I was going with that point. But anyway, that's why like so people get so heated about it because when you try and challenge their ideas, you're basically challenging their own morality. I think it's about tone of voice as well. Text, text can't convey tone. Oh, for sure. That's why, like, to me, when I read stuff online, like, I just feel like everyone's yelling at me. Because, like, I'm, I'm, like, a pessimist at heart. Like, I'm very negative. So, like, it's so easy to misconstrue one's tone through, like, reading a, a sentence or, like, a comment or something. <clears throat> Want to know something? Well, Canada straight up doesn't have any laws regarding abortion. Oh, interesting. So, like, regarding? So, like, does that mean, like, restricting abortion access? Or is it just, like, is it allowed? I don't know anything about Canadian laws. <laughs> Our old ones kind of expired, so they removed the ban to discuss it later, and then they just never did. Oh, okay. You can abort at literally any point in the pregnancy. Nice. Women's rights lets them go. So we never got a replacement law. <laughs> They're just like, let's just put it on the back burner. <laughs> um, I think abortion is fine because especially why oh, I fucking <laughs> like the Texas abortion man is such insanity. Because there are, like, miscarriages where, like, an abortion is needed for, like, the health of, like, the, the, not carrier, but, like, the person who had the miscarriage, right? So, like, that's where, like, absolutely you need to get that procedure done. Because basically, it's essentially a medical procedure. That's all it is. Um, 
And like, for people who are like, forced to, um, bear the child, right? It's only gonna result in more, like, unwanted pregnancies, more people in the foster care and adoption system, and it's... Like, abortions prevent those people from having to struggle, basically. It's 100% a medical procedure. Exactly. That's, like, all it is. And I can guarantee anyone who chooses to go through an abortion, it's... It's a hard decision to make, and... It's disappointing when people are invalidating their decision to go through with that procedure. <clears throat> because if... Like, I don't think anyone wants to have that procedure done. Like, it's a very heavy topic. It's a very important decision. Like, there is a point. Because, um, like, I'm on birth control. So, like, I go to Planned Parenthood every couple months to, like, get my shot. And, like, low-key, I'm, I'm scared of, like, something happening. Because, like, one crazy person decides to shoot up a Planned Parenthood facility and it's scary. <clears throat> Abortion prevents abuse, neglect, foster kids. Exactly! Uh, my father was in the foster care system till he was 18. So, um, he understand what's this like. And it's not a fun time. It's very traumatizing to have to be in, like, foster homes and then being taken out of them. It's very... It's not good for the child, ultimately. Um, the one wants to get an abortion, we're not out here doing it for fun. Exactly. Exactly. Like, it's not fun. <laughs> like, no one is, like, intentionally, like, trying to, like do the deed and like have an abortion for funsies it's not like a pastime <laughs> um and then there was like some policies like because there's different like a lot of people who are like anti-abortion just focus on one certain procedure where um like they have to like take out the fetus right but that's typically only done for miscarriages like, that's so late into the pregnancy term. And majority of abortions are done, like, previous to three months. To where you can literally just take a pill and then you're done. <clears throat> you know, I feel like I haven't gotten an abortion in a while. I should schedule one for Friday night. Oh my god. See, that's what fucking dummies think it is. But it's literally not... <laughs> how to make that choice is heartbreaking exactly like it's a very difficult decision to make <laughs> anyway let's let's just get political man <laughs> I think another, like, fun thing, because, like, Thanksgiving is coming up, um... I heard murmurings that you guys celebrate in October in Canada. I've heard. Oh, wait! Is that a good slime? Um... It, it's very funny, because, like, my dad, he's, like, he's center right? Which is fine. But, like, it's so fun to, like, debate him on stuff. Because, like, he has a tell to where, like, when he knows he's not winning the argument, like, he'll start smiling. <laughs> it's like, we'll go into, like, debates about, like, topical stuff. And then, like, I'll kind of, like, grind him down to the point where, like, he just wants to give up. And then, like, he'll start smiling when he knows that my arguments are totally valid and correct. But he just wants to prove his own point. And it's the funniest thing. And I call him out every time. I'm like, hey, you're smiling. And he's like, no, I'm not. I'm like, no, you fucking are. I'm like, you're smiling because you know I'm right. And he's like, no. <laughs> October, yeah, for the harbor's not for the history. Okay, that's what I thought. Because, like, we don't have a lot of family in state. 
We don't really see them. We, like, we see them every couple years. Um, I don't know if we're gonna be able to do Thanksgiving this year, because, like, my mom, she's feeling kind of icky. She's fine. It's not COVID. She just has, like, stomach issues right now. <clears throat> In our friend group, we call it that scowl, a scowl smile. Not seeing the scowl usually results in even more scowling. <laughs> That's a cute nickname for it. Scowl. Or like a smirk almost. Open the backpack? There's something in the backpack? How do I open it? How, how do I- okay. <laughs> how do I open it? Do I like pick it up? Click on it with another button. Which button? Which button? <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. Do I need to like not hold an item? <gasps> okay, okay. I never knew. I never fucking knew. Okay. Cause like I thought I had to attack it. Okay, thank you so much. I up four coal because of that. They have coal on them. Oh shit. Okay, so what I did was... No. I exit out of it. <clears throat> I did not know that. Thank you so much for that tip. Because <laughs> I never thought to look that up. Thank you. Because I'm playing on Nintendo, like, not desktop. You can only loot them once, though. Oh, like, once, like, ever? Or once in a, like, a run? Or, like, once a day, rather. Because, like, every time I'd pass them, I'd be like, this is so random. Like, how is there not anything in them? <clears throat> like, to open it, I held nothing in my hand. Then I pressed A. Once ever? Fuck. That's dumb. <laughs> That's D-U-M. Um... The only thing that gets reset in the mine is rocks, monsters, and ladders. The layouts are the same every time. Okay. Got it. So I'll have to get the other backpacks then. I had no idea. Oh, they're just telling me what gifts they like. Okay. I'm gonna craft some more preserved jars. No, wrong item. And start putting them into... <clears throat> start putting these into the shed. Now that these are empty. The secret notes show you secrets to easter eggs or otherwise yeah um i think the biggest tell i got from one of them was the the night market with the mermaid dance i know i'll look at them later i'm not ignore them completely <laughs> um because <clears throat> i usually will start doing gifts with um other farm or other town members like year two but I know some of the notes have, like, secret, like, not hiding spots, but uh, spots where, like, items or decorations are. I don't know how, like, everyone else sets up their shed, but I find it easier when the bins are facing vertically. 
Frick, it's getting late. Okay. Let's go. Mm yeah. Mm hmm Yep. <clears throat> like, I just shove as many preserved jars as I can in that shed. Okay. Have I gotten a ghost fish yet? No, not yet. Okay. Let's see, it's Thursday. How many eggs have we gotten this week? We can get up to 14 a week. Oh, yeah, we should be able, we for sure will be able to get that mission done in two weeks. Uh, time to stretch. Okay. We are about an hour into today's stream. A little gentle reminder. Get some water, get a snack if you need it. Stretch too if you need to. <clears throat> nah, thank you, yeah. I have some Pocky on my desk back there. Like, I would eat on train, but Loki too scared to still. <gasps> Fuck, I, for I forgot there was a fi <sighs> The fishing contest was on Monday. I forgot it was Monday. I totally blanked. <sighs> I think you can only get money during the fish competition. Like, it's kind of mid. I had a whole, like, bit planned around it, too. God damn it. <laughs> I'm low-key kind of sad how, like, the cutscenes don't change every year. The only, like, noticeable change is when the army dude comes in town. Okay. I know I have enough to upgrade my coop now. Oh, that's not nearly enough. I'm gonna need more wood, too. Let's see if we can upgrade the poo. Should be able to. I thought the upgraded barn came with an auto collector. Maybe it comes with an auto feeder. Maybe that was it. I still haven't um, milked my cows yet at all. Ah, oh, Frank, it's only seven forty. I just can't wait to get to the point where, like, I have enough money to where I can just buy hella crab pots. The fully upgraded barn and coop has an auto feeder. You need a silo for it. Oh, so I thought it had an auto collector, so I still need to buy the auto collector. Damn it. You can buy auto grabbers from Marnie eventually, yeah. Because, I, like, I was holding off on milking the cows till I have the auto grabber because like to me it's so I hate retrieving like items from my inventory and putting them back like putting getting tools and putting them back <laughs> that's why like I hated getting the milk bale because I'm like I just wait till I can get the auto grabber they're 10k a piece really I thought there were more Yeah, so we can maybe check tomorrow if she has them in the shop. Or maybe today, actually. And we don't have enough money because we're going to upgrade the coop today. We'll probably check tomorrow if we can buy them. She sends you a letter about it. 
The thing is, I can't remember if she sent that letter already. <laughs> I wish there was a way to like look at previous letters you got like in Animal Crossing. Where you can just keep the letters. <clears throat> Because, like, I don't think there's a way to view previous letters you've gotten from the other town members. Wait. Oh! Oh, yeah, there's three levels of each. I thought there's only two. I forgot, I forgot. <clears throat> okay, so... We can get the big coop now. You have a record of the letters in the collection tabs. Okay. Really? I had no idea. Like I said, you're my personal Wikipedia, man. In the collections. Let's check that now, actually. Oh my god. I never- It never clicked to me. Because, like, I've looked in here to see, like, if I've caught something or sold something, but it never occurred to me. <laughs> Dude, I'm learning so much today, thanks to you, man. Yeah, I guess I don't have it yet. Okay, whatever. Well, we can't afford it now anyway, so, you know, not a big deal. I think... Mm, I kind of want to buy some ducks when I can. <clears throat> that we could get more eggs for the weekly mission. mechanic of like smashing the rocks is like so satisfying to me like i don't mind mining the whole month i just think the mechanic is really fun and like the visual of just the stuff shattering is really satisfying to me <laughs> it kind of reminds me of like you know those rec centers where you can just like destroy shit with, like mallets and hammers and stuff it reminds me of that a little bit low key I haven't been to one of those rec centers, mind you, but like, I think it'd be fun to try one day. Like, just smash the shit out of a car. It. Also look at rage rooms in your area of and get one room. Various things to break, various tools in the set time. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. I don't know if there is like I'm in the Seattle area, so like I'm sure there's one in Seattle. <laughs> um like I'd like to try one one day. Not now, not now. <laughs> but like in the future. I also want to go to like a cat cafe. 
I know there's like a few in Seattle. I was looking at him. Um, I was like, I fucking love cats, man. Um, we don't have any pets in the house right now. But we used to have a pet rabbit when I was younger. And it was just like so calming to like have like a pet that like wants to be around you or like that wants to be pet. It's just so like relaxing. Like, my mom wants to get a dog at some point. But, like, low-key, a lot of them are too high energy for us. Like, I just want a pet that's like, chill. Ooh. And, like, anytime I've gone to a friend's house and they have a cat, the cat always loves me. Like, even the cats that are super grumpy and hates everyone, they love me. Must be a cat whisperer or something. We have two cats. Aww. <laughs> like, unironically, if I'm, like, sad and I just look up cat videos or, like, cat pictures, I'm just immediately happy. Low-key kind of sad, but it works, you know? Eros and Demeter Demi. Aw, oh, that's so cute. My friend, he has two cats. They're named Thor and Loki, and they're fucking adorable. Because they're siblings, so they look basically identical, but one has like a slightly- Because they're black and white. They have like slightly different white size patches on their head. Oh my god. Uh, got me. We had Eris for a year. He's an affectionate boy for sure. We were worried about him. He wouldn't have been alone. He said when we got back to work during the pandemic, so we got Demi. Oh, See, like, that's what, like, I don't know why it, like, held your message. Because I have, um, um, Twitch auto mod bot on right now. So, like, it's weird that it held the word got. Like, I don't understand that. Anyway. But, like, I know if I get one cat, I'm gonna want to, like, get more. Like, I'd totally be a cat lady. Demi was frail, so she's made great strides in the meantime, but still won't let us touch her. <laughs> we'll get there one day. I know it takes a lot longer to like gain cat's trust when compared to dogs. But you'll get there. Maybe the pen do me. <laughs> it's looking that way, man. Like... Americans think everything is fine, but like, it's actually not. Mm. Demi loves Eros and is cautious of us. Oh. <laughs> Eros loves us and follows us around and follows him around. <laughs> it's kind of like when you have a friend group, like person A is like best friends or person B. Or like person A doesn't like person C, but person B loves person C. Like that. <laughs> Where it's like, you kind of have to be around them by default. <laughs> that is 100% what's going on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she sprints a lot. Oh. <laughs> I think it's so weird because, like, a lot of the times we're like, I'd spend the night at, like, friends' houses and they'd have cats. Like, they would just, like, wild out at, like, 3 a.m. for no reason. It's like, why is this the time you're choosing to do, like, exercise, man? Like, everyone's asleep. I know technically you're nocturnal, but you know. Why are you sprinting at 3 a.m.? 
Loves chicken sweet, bribing her off, and yeah. <laughs> Gotta win him over somehow, right? Yeah. Our rabbit, he loved bananas. And it's so cute watching, like, animals- or er, watching rabbits eat. Because they, like, nibble on stuff. And, like, bananas, since they're, like, really juicy, like, he'd be, like, licking his lips and stuff, and it's the cutest thing. I used to have, like, videos of it, but it was on my old phone. I don't have any way to access the pictures, but, like, ah, oh, so cute. I think we had our rabbit for, like, 12 years. Because we got him when he was a... A baby. Oh yeah, you're right. The backpack is still broken. Looks kind of sad busted open though. It feels like these winter days are going by faster. Because we're an hour 22 in. Got two days left. Because usually for Stardew Valley, I try to do like a week on stream per day whenever I play it. <laughs> Mainly probably because we're not focusing on like side missions right now. And also, like, the chicken coop mission, you just do that in your daily tasks anyway. Fun Canada fact. <laughs> There's a town in Quebec called Chapeau. Chipu? How, how do I say that? Chipu? Why is this interesting? It translates to hat. People live in hat, Quebec. <laughs> That's great. I'm trying to think if there's like any funny American towns. There's gotta be. Chapeau. Chapo. Okay. Chapo. Got it. Got it. I took Spanish in school. I did not take French. I wish I took a language besides Spanish. Criminal. Okay, so once we unlock the huts, maybe we're supposed to put gems inside it. For an Easter egg, I guess. <clears throat> okay, so these can all go into the shed now. Kinda sucks how trees don't grow during winter. It's DOM. DOM is like an inside joke between friends. It's <laughs> um it's like saying dumb. That's basically what it is. Oh I, I fucked up. Okay, there we go. I don't like using that cursor control. It's so hard to manipulate or move with the pro controller. Hmm. 
Okay, I also need to get another chest to put in here. It's 12.50. I don't have a lot of time. Let's run back to the shed. Cause like I like to have a chest in here to hold veggies that can be pickled and juiced. That way I don't gotta walk it back and forth. Cause usually I'll put chests out right outside the shed for all my crops, but I might have to rearrange that all later. Twenty minutes. Ah, oh, saved, saved. I personally think listening to people hum is annoying, but I do it all the time. So I'm just the biggest hypocrite. Oh, I gotta feed them. <laughs> They're feeding animals? Who knew? Okay, so we can donate this next time. any preserved treasure already, but we can go ahead and check for funsies. Not lol, no. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, I definitely want to put pawns here, because I can probably put two rows all the way down. is filled. Oh, that's interesting how it has frozen geodes instead of regular during winter. I mean, it makes sense, but, you know, it's interesting. Switch these around now. There we go. A little better. I always forget to check my tappers. I think I'll put the orchard up here, maybe. this might be a better place. Not gonna be able to fit many though. It's 
Boom. Okay. Rest of the day's mining. Back to business. Let's go get cancer in our lungs. I really need to get like a heater for my room. My sister, she is like a rotating heating fan, which is like, it's nice. It's really nice. But then it, it like gets too hot. If I ever make millions, I'm installing air conditioning in our house. We absolutely need it. Cause like, we have a wood stove, so we can be like warm during winter, but during summer, like we're basically dying inside. Cause we don't have AC. It's expensive to install in your house. But that's like the first thing on my checklist. <laughs> install AC. So we don't die. Oh, I hate these levels. Okay, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. Bullshit. I don't want to fight enemies. We're just gonna skip it. <laughs> We're almost out of blackberries. Jeez. Ah, oh, come on.
Ooh, secret note. Blackberries are gone. Yeah, so when I get home, I'm going to get another food to replenish energy with and then see if we can plant more winter seeds. R rest in peace, blackberries. You were good to us. Yes, of course. Like, I will always, like, whenever the, like, bushes, like, blackberries or salmon berries are in season, like, I'll spend all day foraging them. Like, I can't wait to unlock the highest level of foraging because then all your crops will become like the highest level like i know people will craft like food to replenish energy but like to me that's a waste of material like i'd rather just like eat all my fruits and veggies first than waste like five of them not five of them but like two or three of them to get a little bit more energy Yeah, because the difference between a regular frozen berry and the, the silver star one was, I think, like 20 energy. Which is insane. Where's the ladder? Actually, let's go home. It's already 8 o'clock. And we don't have time to plan stuff. I'd never have found anything good in the trash cans. Like, ever. I just keep getting more trash. I break that purple rock to the right of the cave ladder. I can break it now? Is it because I have an upgraded pickaxe? I thought that was a cutscene thing. Okay, I'll, I'll do that tomorrow then. <laughs> I think- oh wait, really? Oh shoot, I thought- I thought it was a cutscene thing, because I know, like, once you do one of the comp centers, it dissolves, like, the purple rocks at the top of the lake. I thought it was part of that. But I'll, I'll definitely try that tomorrow. Oh, wrong one. Okay, so I wanted to see if we could plant more winter seeds. I only do one batch. That's D U M. Okay. Mm -hmm. Six, seven, eight, nine. The purple rock at the top before you enter, yes, but the smaller one inside the cave mouth is breakable. Okay, thank you. I will for sure do that tomorrow. Because that unlocks the... What's he called? What's he called? I know what he's called. Mm-hmm. 
I forgot what he's called. It's the little guy who sells you stuff. I'm trying to think of like which fruit I should grab. Let's grab some cranberries. I'm I'm hung up on what he's called. It's gonna bother me. I know what he's called, I know what it is. Chocolate cake. Nice. It's gonna irk me. Oh, night market, okay. So tomorrow's so next week on stream. Ooh, incubator, nice. It's on the tip of my tongue what he's called. I know, I know what it is. Let's go, winter crops are done. Okay, so we can probably plant more now. Because those took a week. How many we can craft? Ooh, sixty. That's a lot. <laughs> elf. Is he an elf? Is that what he's called? Dwarf. Dwarf, that was it. I think it's dwarf. Oh my god. I, it was on the tip of my tongue. I could, because I was like, it's not. Because, like, I was thinking, like, <laughs> like, imp, but no, that's not it. <laughs> like, elf, that's not it. I think it is dwarf. I think it, he's a dwarf. I mean, we would have figured out what he was called when we would have, like, broke the rock, but, like, it was irking me so much. How many seeds do I have? I got 60. A lot. Is that way next season, if we have a lot of these winter like seeds ready, then hopefully we should have foraging up to max level and then we can sell them and make bank. Oh. Okay. Put these back for now and then mine the rest of the day. Back to mining. How many seeds do I have? Not enough, apparently. Yeah, I don't have enough money to upgrade barn or the coop right now. Oh, <laughs> yes, I'm, I was like, the guy is in here. Yes, he is. It didn't work. Oh, wait. There we go. We did it. Okay, he wants milk. I will give you milk. That's cute. Don't 
don't really need these. They're a bit pricey. So. A cranberry. Hope you like that. I already went here. Go to 65. I've been trying hard to like not eat out. Like just trying to eat what we have in the house. But like, pizza sounds so good right now. It's, I'm like, I'm in the mood where like I'm craving bad food, you know? Like really shitty pizza. Like, anytime I have gone out to, like, eat, like, pasta is insane how much they charge. Like, $20 for, like, a small-ass plate, when it probably cost them, like, 50 cents when you look at the cost of goods. I mean, probably more than 50 cents, because, like, honestly, whenever you eat somewhere, you're mainly just paying for the labor. Because, like, a lot of places that, like, they're wholesalers and stuff, they can get, like, ingredients for cheap. You're mainly just paying for the person making the food. But like, it's so hard to like justify playing $15 or $20 for like a plate of pasta when I can just make a big ass pot at home for like $5. I also wonder how like people make good French toast. Cause like all the times that I've tried to make it on my own, like <laughs> whenever I try and like coat it with the egg, I always put the egg on too thick, so there's like patches of like egg white <laughs> cooked onto the French toast. Like I'm still learning, like I don't mind the taste, like I I'm weird when it comes to like food because like I don't mind tasting individual stuff. That's kind of like why I like soups a lot because then you can like see all the individual ingredients is not fully combined. Like I'm picky with certain stuff. Like I used to, like any child would, I used to hate veggies. I used to cry when my mom would like force me to eat them. <laughs> I was such a little bitch then. <laughs> I can't handle spicy food though, like no shot. Like I can barely handle Tabasco sauce. Like the other day I had a, a ramen bowl. Like one of the instant kind. But it's from Japan so like it's good shit. And like the broth had like it was like a mild broth, but it was, like, it was still enough for me to where like I needed to take a sip of milk after every slurp. Like seeing people do like hot sauce challenges, I'm like, dude, I would literally die. Like y'all are a bunch of masochists, I see. Because my friends, they like spicy stuff, and I'm like, why do you do this to yourself? They're like, ah, oh, it's just fun. They're like, it's thrilling, and I'm like, okay.
Mm. Let's go. Loki, want to rush the day because I'm getting hungry. <laughs> I mean, I ate like breakfast right before stream. Uh, I like. I wonder if there's anything down here. Seems kind of sus. Is a plant or something? I think it's cool to see how like different countries have different like options for like American fast food chains. Like when we went to Japan a couple years ago, they had like um a lot of seafood soups at their subway. They had like a shrimp um like a shrimp cake patty or something, which is really good. And like the Japanese McDonald's, oh my god. It was so fucking good. They had, like, this dip you could put your fries in. I mean, it was an LTO, limited time offer. For a promo item. But it was, like, almost like a creamy, like, Alfredo onion -y sauce you could dip your fries into. So good. They also had, like, strawberry matcha. Ooh. Let's go! Um, they had, like, a strawberry matcha frappuccino. So good. It's also interesting to see like the portion size differences like <laughs> american like smalls are large as this crazy i mean that's just the coom <laughs> i almost said coomers that's just the consumer market for you the coomers market Oh man. It's time to go home. Now we're almost home. I can go eat lunch. <laughs> oh, let's see if our preserve jars are done. Forgot to check them this morning. Let's go! We can actually craft more preserve jars now. I'll we'll probably go back and do that. Get more of those started since they're at around the same time as the previous batch. And then we're gonna see if we can sell more gems. Oh, wrong one. I know once you complete the comm center, you can donate diamonds to your dad's shrine. The grabber shrine, I think. Oh, I'm going over here. Well, you can't do that just yet.
four. So. Okay. <clears throat> A train's going by, so I don't know if y'all can hear that thumping. <laughs> it's like my shell fitting the wall. It's fine. We're fine. We're not gonna die. It's normal for shit to shake. Not an earthquake. Even though we are in an earthquake area. Wow, holy shit, up 22k? I did pick a pumpkin, let's go. Mm -hmm. Nice, we can go buy shit tomorrow. And by tomorrow, I mean, <laughs> I mean next week. Because we're going to pause and save here. Hey. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna call it a day here. Thank you to anyone who came in. We had Dear Miss Alicia. Appreciate you coming in and showing up and chatting. Love my chatters, you know? Um, yeah. So like I said to yesterday, I don't know what the schedule will look like for Thursday or Friday. I might be able to stream Friday, but I don't know what Thursday, because you know, it's holiday. You don't get time and a half, so you know. But yeah, tomorrow I'm gonna be doing more of our garden story save. I haven't touched that in two weeks now because I didn't stream last Wednesday, rip. Oh yeah, enjoy your food. Oh yeah, I will. I'm still figuring out what I'm gonna have for lunch. <coughs> um, but yeah, I'm gonna head out. <laughs> I'll be back tomorrow, same time, 11 a.m. PST. Also, thank you again for checking out the Clips account, Allie. I appreciate it, you know. Um. Oh yeah, gonna head out. Y'all have a great day. Bye.